Welcome to another video tutorial. My name is William. In this video, I would like us to look at another cookie consent package that is made with Laravel that you can be able to use within your Laravel application that is open source and free for your consumption. And in this case, I would like us to talk about White Cube Laravel Cookie Consent. And this is uh, the link to the documentation. And um, I've included this link in the description of this video so you can check it out. With me here, I have a Laravel application, a new install of Laravel 11. So I would like to go ahead and install this White Cube uh, Cookie Consent. And just to mention a few things is that uh, this cookie consent enables us to be compliant with the EU's uh, GDPR cookies such that um, the, the, the laws such that you can be able to differentiate the cookies, the ones that are strictly necessary and the ones that are not and allow the user only to opt in to the ones that are essential for the application that uh, they are interacting with so um basically that is what it does and i did do a video on uh, the sparty uh, laravel uh, cookie consent again and um, you can be able to go and check that one out but if i'm to speak about my opinion maybe i feel like this is a little bit more detailed than the previous one and um, let us just go ahead and see how we can be able to install and, 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 and play around with it and see what we have. So, of course, for us to install it, we will have Composer require white cube Laravel cookie consent. And that is what I will just paste here in our terminal. The package is fully installed. I would now like to publish the cookie service provider. So, I will just... Um, run php artisan vendor publish tag laravel cookie consent service provider but of course if you are within the documentation page you can just be able to copy and uh, paste in uh, the terminal and now if we go to bootstrap uh, providers then we need to add here the new provider which is here so we have the cookie service provider and this is what we will be working with there are some uh, uh, values which have been commented out. I will and comment some of them such that we can be able to see how well it displays. So I would like to just include um, this cookie service provider in our providers array. And so here I'll just have um, app providers and we will select the cookie service provider class like that and save. After doing that, then we can go ahead in our cookie service provider and look at what we have here. So ideally, we have the essential cookies. And in this case, we have a session and CSRF. And you can decide to add any other cookie that you think is essential. But these ones are cookies that are required for the correct operation of the Laravel application. If these ones are not enabled, then there will be issues. Then we have uh, a cookie here, which is um, analytics for Google. So, of course, if you are to enable this one, you need to have the Google Analytics ID and Google Analytics Anonymize IP, which I actually currently do not have. Then we have this optional one where you can be able to pass things like um, the dark mode and, um, and whatnot um that uh, will enable the user to maybe have some preferences and of course as you can be able to see we have for these ones we have the name description duration and then the the, the values being set actually within our application so i've commented this one out such that we will have two types of cookies where we have the essential ones where the user can accept and then we also have the optional ones. So let us go ahead and see how it is possible for us to use uh, these cookies. So we will go to our views and in this case in your layout probably that is the best place to put this in your layout you can be able to put the cookie consent scripts so let me just go to app uh, resource i mean to resources views 
welcome.blade and this is the file that is found in my application and so before the end of the head tag we will have the cookie consent scripts and then uh, the cookie consent view we will paste before the end of uh, the body tag so you scroll below and paste it somewhere around here and since i'm just using the default laravel view that is what we have so i will refresh and see that we now have cookies so it says we use cookies this website uses cookies in order to enhance the overall user experience so then um, we have two categories uh, so the user can accept only essentials or the user can accept all the cookies and of course if we are to check we have the essential cookies and the, the details that i mentioned here so we have the laravel consent um, which in this case it says that uh, we have laravel session and csrf token so this both of them um, have a duration of two hours then of course we can check the others which in this case we did enable the ones that are not essential ones so i will click on less dis details and then we look at the optional ones so the optional ones I, uh, as you can see is only dark mode enabled so uh, that is the only cookie that is within the essentials and when we look at it we actually can be able to see in our cookie service provider that we have the dark mode enabled as um an optional uh, cookie so basically that is what you can be able to do and you can see at once even in a very few clicks you are able to have the nice consent but ob obviously when one accepts either essential or whatever this one uh, this will um, the the page in this case the pop-up will not show anymore because that is what you would have been captured within the system so basically that is what we have so instead of having it so we can be able to add more cookies to a specific uh, section so whether the optional or the essential ones or uh, the analytics cookies so we can uh, add it in this uh, format so in this case you can see these ones are essentials and we are passing in the cookie and then we are having a function where now we are passing the dark mode enabled on its own and then after that then we are passing in the um, the other cookie which is high con contrast enabled so even if i am able to just copy what we have here and um, place them here uh here then you can be able to see that we actually can be in a position to have uh the two cookies uh, passed in in a way and then of course we have to import that which is um white cube consent uh, cookie like that so then if we again try and check among the optional cookies now we will not only be having one cookie we will have more than one so under optional ones if you go to more details then we have dark mode enabled and we have high contrast so basically those are two cookies in this case if you want to check uh, the cookie for a user so you can be able to, to ch check uh, like this so you can say if cookies has consent for and then extending this uh, cookies facade and once you do that you can be able to check if the user is supposed to be tracked with that cookie or not and then you can go ahead and do the process here of course you can also be able to use de dependency injection as list as um, explained here and then if you desire to modify the views for this package you can be able to pu publish the views like that so um, the vendor directory will be added in our in our resources file and then you can be able to maybe modify the views as you want so maybe just to show you where they are now here is where we have so we have the button we have the cookies and we have the languages and um, and so on and so forth so basically that is where you can be able to now edit these views and in this case the view of whatever it is that we have here maybe modify the colors and whatever it is that you want after that i 
I would like maybe to just mention one more thing. If you would like to have the dedicated cookie policy page, you have something here which you can be able to copy into your application in a blade file and then customize add classes if you're using Tailwind and then you can also add classes if you're using Bootstrap. So depending with whatever it is that you're using for CSS, even if you're using plain CSS, you can be able to um, just use uh, that page. So basically that is how you can work with white cube uh, cookie Laravel cookie consent in your application and be able to comply with some of these EU laws and uh, probably this uh, can be able to keep your website in a better place in this case you will not have uh, to struggle with uh, legal issues afterwards thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point my name is William if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing if you like the video give a thumbs up if you have a comment you can share in the comment section below thank you very much